Ladies and gentlemen, let it be said that I have never had a bad idea before. So when I booted up my favorite police brutality simulator, I knew I had to change that. So I decided that in all my level-headed and rational thinking that the best course of action was to, of course, beat Barisa Cove using only pistols. By myself. <sighs> For those unaware, Barisa Cove is regarded as one of the most difficult levels in Ready or Not. Set in a high-rise apartment, the map layout is basically a giant roundabout, with a conference room in the middle and remaining rooms off to the side. And just like a roundabout, no matter which way you turn, you will always get taken out from the opposite side. The suspects involved are former military veterans who have begun playing point-and-click adventure games from a nearby window taking aim at a talking trash can. Sorry, politician. They also happen to be armed with rifles, machine guns, and body armor, so this is about to be anything but a walk in the park. Attempt number one involved an immediate firefight, with two guys discovering I have the quicker aim before this chap decides to play chicken with me. Needless to say, the chicken was taken behind the shed and put down. However, so was I. My second attempt went about as well as it could. By that I mean I opened the first door into the hallway and discovered what it feels like to chew five gum. <laughs> round three I discovered that a seven round mag doesn't go very far when body armor takes pistol bullets nearly as easy as your mum takes cheap vodka, as well as the round of sailors buying it for her. And I end up back on the loading screen enthusiastically awaiting to try again. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get past this door. But not today. Hey, can you hold something for me for a second? Thank you. Speaking of holding things, did you know the human body can hold multiple gunshot wounds? I mean, I didn't say you would live. This time I saw the opportunity to use a taser and subdued the first suspect I encountered. I then managed to encourage two other guys to lay their guns down before... Oh, just eat a dick. This time I decided to play it a little safer and opted to use the Opti Wand to search the hallway before entering. I have a short shootout with a suspect from the opposite direction who takes more bullets than the average Chicago building, as well as finding multiple civilians. And despite making the most progress I have so far, I still managed to die in one bullet. A flashbang a day keeps the coroners away, yet the tinnitus makes me go... Excuse me sir, can you get on the floor please? I have food in the microwave I want to eat. Sometimes you get so far, you come so close to finishing a mission, and yet the last suspect manages to get you. Oh you absolute fucking c As I feel my mental state deteriorating and life goals crumbling around me, I head to the gun range to see if my iron sights are off or if my time playing Call of Duty has robbed me of any semblance of school I once had before. I knew it, I knew it, see? I wasn't crazy, I called it! Swapping for a new and improved 1911 variant, I head back in with hopes and dreams renewed once again. Only to die. Opening the first of many doors causes me to get shot and spill blood on the floor. But even the best crumble under duress and flashbangs are the perfect cure. Despite subduing multiple suspects, it turns out my actions had no long-lasting effects. While I took a man down still feeling pretty proud, I died in the way everybody expects. On the next attempt I changed tactics and went right, but the gunshots I received gave me quite the fright. I swapped out my mag, aimed back at the flea bag. God, I love the smell of cordite. After recording for multiple hours, my mood rapidly began to sour. So I said, fuck this, my ass you can kiss, and I showed them the full force of the 45 ACP's power. After many, many repeated attempts and plenty of frustration, I achieve my objective, completing Barisa Cove using only a pistol. I also forget I have the No Mercy for Terrorists mod on, so I walk away with an S rank, which is quite the nice touch. See you in the next one that hopefully doesn't require me to destroy my mental state. Goodbye.